So in Mac OS X, you can change the icons of folders to customize how you visually organize your files. The quick way of doing that is a pretty easy copy and paste. However, what if you download an icon file with a suffix .icns and you want to apply that instead? Well, you could do the same copy and paste formula, but if you'll notice, this doesn't use the icns file as intended. The smaller, low-resolution icons aren't being used because it's only scaling the one image that was pasted in. And if you just drag and drop the .icns file into the Get Info panel, it gives the wrong icon. <sighs> What's the answer to all this? Well, my Google Foo was unable to find a simple, cost-effective, i.e. free solution, so I made one. Warning. Warning. What, I'm, what doing I'm doing here, here you, you do at your, your own, own risk, risk. So, so don't, don't come, come crying, crying to me if you, if you break, break something. something. Okay? okay? Check this out. We need to create a blank app to act as a mediator so we can copy the complete icon in the Get Info panel. Here's how to do it. First, create a folder and name it whatever you want with a dot app at the end. A warning will appear. Just go ahead with the dot app extension. Next we need to fill our empty app with the icon we want and a bit of stuff to tell OS X to use that icon. Right click or control click on your useless unrunnable app and select show package contents in the menu. Inside the app, which is actually a folder in disguise, we create a contents folder. Inside that, we need a resources folder and place a copy of our lovely icon into it. Now for the complicated part. This is going to look scary if you've never coded before. Don't worry, I left a copy of the code in the description, so you can just copy and paste it. Open text edit with a new document and make sure under format that the document is a plain text document. We don't want a rich text document. That would be bad. We're creating a .txt file with our script in it. First we start with all this hideous but quite possibly unnecessary garbage. Next we put in this plist tag, version 1.0, a dict tag, then key and cf bundle icon file, close key, new line, string tag, the name of the .icns file we just put in the folder, close string, close dict, and finally close plist. Catch all that? No. It's in the description. Copy and paste away. Now, save this file into your desktop and rename it to info.plist. Place this file next to the resources folder inside the app. If the digital surgery went as expected, the app should take on the likeness of the icon. All that remains is to get info on both the app and the folder you want to change, and copy-paste to your heart's content. And as you notice, we have the multiple sizes showing up as they should. Now just save the app for later, and whenever you want to use a different icon, you just show package contents again and uh, replace the icon file. It also works on other apps, so if you want to change your icons in Yosemite because they're ugly, you can finally change them easily. It might require a restart for the change to show up in your dock, and I don't know if updates to the app will revert it back. If it does, just deal with it. Also, as a side note, I haven't confirmed if this works on Yosemite, so if somebody tries it and it works, leave a comment. Okay, bye.